Hi, my name is Kelly Graham. I am just finishing up an internship with Special Olympics this fall, and this was one of my projects for the internship. This year's respect campaign theme for Spread the Word to End the Word is Respect is My Superpower. We'll be going over what a respect campaign is, how to get started, and how to order your respect gear this year. The whole idea of Spread the Word to End the Word is basically to get people to pledge to stop saying the R word. So this slide had a video about how to spread the word to end the word. Um, for some reason I can't figure out how to play it, but basically the video shows a collection of students talking about what they want to be when they grow up, what they like to do for fun, and basically the video was just showing that everyone is more alike than different, and we should start enforcing a new R word, and that R word is respect. Alright, so what is the respect campaign? Spread the Word to End the Word is a campaign designed to ask people to pledge to stop saying the R word, like I said before. It's a youth-driven movement supported by Special Olympics and Best Buddies. The annual day of awareness is the first Wednesday of every March. This year, that falls on March 1 of 2017. That doesn't mean that you only have to do the campaign on March 1 or the week of. The idea is to pledge and support year-round through pledge drives, youth rallies, and online activation. And we'll talk about later about how to do that. The goal of the Respect Campaign is basically an ongoing effort to raise consciousness to society about the dehumanizing and hurtful effects of the word retard or retarded. Its intended target is to get to schools, communities, organizations, clubs, whatever it may be, to pledge their support. Basically just getting the word out so people can know about it. Respect is my superpower is the theme chosen this year. Is It is intended to gear more toward the Respect Campaign instead of spread the word to end the word only because for the littler kids, you don't want to teach them a word that they don't necessarily already know. So that's the idea behind that. Why pledge? The R word is exclusive, offensive, and derogatory. Pledging your support is a starting point toward creating more accepting attitudes and communities for all people. Language affects attitudes and attitudes affects actions. So pledge to use respectful, people-first language. When you are giving your respect campaigns throughout the year, a good way to get people involved is to show real life videos. This video was a real life story about a girl and how the R word has negatively affected her life. And it's basically just for promoting the respect campaign and wanting people to take the pledge to stop saying the R word. So that'd be a good way to show real life stories to people to get them more involved. All right, so now on a really important part to this is to take action. Once you've pledged your support, don't just stop there. Turn your commitment into action. A good way to do this is through social media. Tweet about it, put it on Facebook, all your friends and family can see it, maybe share it. Get, getting the word out is the main idea. Um, also, sharing your story is a great way to get people to understand the respect campaign and why it's important to you and could be important to others. It could inspire others. You never know. Um, it's really important to share your story. You can do that on the website, through social media, whatever it may be. And also just getting involved. Best Buddies and Special Olympics are two programs that have so many events throughout the whole year um, and so easy to get involved in. You can get out there and volunteer and take action after you have pledged through those two organizations. And by making the first step in pledging to use respectful language, we have taken the first step toward creating a culture of inclusion and acceptance for all people. When building your campaign, it's important to start planning early. So now's a great time to start thinking about things. Um, I would get together, brainstorm activities, some questions you could ask that I put up here are what do you want your focus to be? Who are you trying to reach and involve? Are you trying to reach students, teachers, community, clubs? Also, you could talk about what worked for you last year, if you're going to do that again, or if you're brand new to do this. Um, if you want to build around a theme, want to build around the respect is my superpower, whatever it may be, it's just good to ask those questions and start brainstorming as early as possible so you could start doing activities as early as possible. It's also really important to involve your students. I think that's like a really main part is involving your students in the whole process so they can go out and be leaders themselves. I included in the PowerPoint some activity ideas. Um, these are just some ideas I thought of or that were on the website, but you can obviously think of any more activity ideas that you can or that you used last year. Um, these are just a few that I came up with. One is a pledge drive, a school-wide assembly, disability awareness day, making a public service announcement, running contests, write articles in your school or local newspapers, holding fundraisers, sharing R word videos, conduct activities from Get Into It curriculum. The Get Into It, to it curriculum is really cool because you can just go to the website. I attached a link, but I can't click on it now. Um, it already has lessons plans fully 
planned out for you. You just have to go to the website, make an account, and then you can use them. Just a few more activity ideas. Um, like I said, planning lessons to incorporate ideas and learn more about others, whether that's your own lessons or from the Get Into It curriculum. Um, having rallies in your communities, pledge stations around school or communities, maybe a block party, email chains, sharing your story, class announcements, lunch, lunch presentations, school mailboxes, so much more that you can think of or that you've done in the past. Just getting the word out and involving as many people as possible. This is this year's Respect Gear. Um, I'll talk about in a little bit how to get it. There's a beanie, a lanyard, flashlight pen, poster, bracelet, water bottle, stickers, whatever it is. There's so much. We also have this year's sweatshirts and t-shirts. Also really cool that's added this year, the capes. The Respect is my superpower capes that you can order. Now I'm going to talk about a little bit about how to get the Respect Gear. Um, you can go to this website. It's soillrespect.usa.clickpromo.com. Um, basically, each school receives $200 worth of material. And with that money, you can order a maximum of five t-shirts and no hoodies. If the school would like to order additional shirts and hoodies, they may. They just need to complete a second order. The first order should say your school name and U UCS funding, like it is in the example there. Any additional orders can be labeled however you wish, which I also included in the example. If you click on the website, it will bring you to this page with all the gear shown. Up on the top on the red bar, you see my account. Click on that bar, and before you do anything, that's where you're going to fill out your information. Like I said, by clicking on that bar, it brings you to this page, and just simply fill out your information, and then proceed to the home page to make your orders. Once you get back to the home page, it shows all the gear again, and to order something, you simply just click on it. For example, if I wanted to order some lanyards, I would click on the item, and it would bring me to this page, and I simply just click Add to Cart. Once you do that, you will get this little box here, and you simply just indicate how many of that item you want, and then click Add to Cart. When you are finished placing your orders and are ready to check out, you will need to fill out the contact details shown as well as the billing address. Even though you get $200 free, you still need to fill out the billing address in case you want to make more orders. Also, just below the billing address, you need to fill out the shipping details here, and then you are good to check out. You will receive a confirmation email once you have placed your order. If you do not receive that email, your order is not placed, so make sure you get that confirmation email. The red bar up top also has a contact link that you will bring you to this page, which shows you Jen Marcello's contact information if you have any further questions. All right, thank you very much for listening. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact Special Olympics anytime. I included Jen Marcello's information at the bottom, and you can contact her with questions or anything you need whenever. Um, and good luck with your respect campaign.